guys another road trip through the american southwest you guys know i love my fujifilm x100v and that's usually my go-to camera for stuff like this just a few months ago i actually picked up a, a gfx 50 s2 and the reason i got that is because when i'm on these trips sometimes i want a, a better higher megapixel sensor camera for doing dedicated prints sometimes i get into these amazing locations and the x100v prints would be just fine but say if everyone's doing like an art gallery show and i want to do giant like panoramic prints or just general big prints that are meant to be viewed up close. I kind of want to hire make a pixel camera for that. This is right between a Fuji X100V and a GFX 50S2. It's a full frame sensor with updated color science paired with the Sony 40 millimeter f2.5 lens. Like this isn't that bad of a setup here. Like you see, it kind of looks like a Fujifilm camera. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the views and the photos I'll be presenting. Uh, I will do a little head on head with the X100V. So stay tuned uh, halfway through the video for that. But um, I'm gonna go try and get the shot without getting shot. <laughs> any tool you can re-rig them for different uses and you can see the setups on these are fairly similar it's kind of crazy this a7r5 has 62 megapixels and then the x100v i don't even know how many megapixels it has but it's not nearly as close to that specifically when you have that 40 millimeter now some people might ask why i didn't do a 35 millimeter i personally love a 40 millimeter lens one of my favorite setups was actually the fujifilm xc4 with the 27 millimeter which is like a 40 millimeter equivalent i just like the tiny bit of extra compression you could get uh when you're shooting uh, I don't even know what you would call it, still life. I don't, I don't know what this is called. But for this scene, I'm gonna shoot both cameras just so you can see. Uh, I am in Arizona right now and it's kind of odd how green it is out here right now. Uh, it's kind of hard to edit actually because it's not like this pretty green, it's this weird, uh, I don't even know. Uh, I will say this camera is just, immediately from doing that, yeah, this is still fun to shoot with, but if you haven't tried the X100V, you probably won't be able to because they're hard to find. But this camera, like it, there's no thrills to it. But just looking through this viewfinder, the X100V, like it, it's not the best viewfinder out there. But it just, it, I don't know. This camera just makes you want to shoot stuff. It's, I, it's, you can't explain it. You just got to get in your hands. Again, you guys know I'm obsessed with this camera. Also, just looking at the colors in camera, I shoot in classic negative. Like that is my Jesus. Like that's all I shoot on this camera. And holy shit. Just looking at it through the viewfinder is amazing. Also guys, two quick things. I am still giving away a Fujifilm X-Pro1 when I hit 50K subs, so subscribe and I'll randomly choose a winner once I hit 50K. Second, I released some Sony S-Log3 LUTs that are based off like my legacy colors that I've done for Fujifilm cameras and Canon cameras, but I made a second whole new set that's kind of based more on Ari's colors and dynamic range, but still pushed in a filmic way. I used those new LUTs on my Great Joy 50mm anamorphic review video and on this video. So down in the description, you'll also find links to those and uh, I'll also do a bundle pack of both of them for a discounted rate.
So no one's asked for this video, but this person is just for me because I take a lot of these road trips and sometimes, I, well not sometimes, but most of the time I forget gear. So this is just to see if the A7R5 with this 40 millimeter lens can step in and uh, fill its shoes. So a lot of you guys have actually already seen my X100V setup. I have a glimmer glass on there, so that's another thing to take into account. This does not have a glimmer glass. Actually, I'm gonna throw that on there actually. You can see the X100V has an aperture dial on top. This is just really tactile. I pretty much shoot this thing like film. I keep it at 640 ISO for all daylight stuff. And then you can see the A7R5 with the 40 millimeter. We also have an aperture dial and this actually feels a lot more robust. Obviously it's a little bit more bigger. B or Hoji uh, square lens hood. I'll make sure to put a link in the description. Go straight on to there. No, no craziness. And the elephant in the room, the green skin. Everyone's always asking me where I get this. Link in the description. Six hours left to get to Austin and I was trying to make it back, but I need coffee. It's just, I'm truly addicted. <laughs> At the end of the day, they're both amazing cameras. Obviously the A7R5 has way more horsepower to it. The X100V will always inspire me in a way that no other camera will, uh, at least for now. There's just no competition for that camera. Again, everything from the color to the layout, just looking through that viewfinder that's not the greatest, but just has a, a vibe to it. There's just something special about it. From my previous experience with Sony cameras, I didn't really feel too inspired by it, but the A7R5 uh, with that 40 millimeter lens, um, it's something unique. So I think on these road trips, obviously I'll still have my X100V, but I think the A7R5 will be a good uh, step in when I'm shooting something where I might want to do giant prints of, uh, and I think that's where that camera's gonna come in handy.